G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here and welcome to another episode of my FIFA 14 Newcastle United Career Mode series. It is episode number 10. We're going to start off the episode trying to sign Rio Miachi as a backup uh, midfielder in our side. He's a youngster from Arsenal. He has okay potential, but I'm going to try doing a, or a swap uh, with Arsenal for Jonas Gutierrez. A few of you guys have said you want him uh, sold on, so I thought why not uh, trade him, kind of. Uh, I've put up £400,000 plus Gutierrez, and hopefully um, he actually signs for us. Uh, Bayern Leverkusen says 7.4 for Tim Krul. I don't even bother looking at it, or well, I do, and I'm just going to go onto it and say uh, reject all offers, disallow future offers, because uh, we don't want to get rid of Timmy Krul at this stage in our career mode. Still a lot of growth left in the young uh, Dutch keeper. But we're going to start off the episode with a Premier League match at St. James's Park against Tottenham Hotspur. They've been a bit of a bogey side for us this year. Uh, there is Lukaku in his first uh, first time wearing a Newcastle uniform. We're sitting in sixth place in this um, matchup, and hopefully we can get three valuable points to our Premier League campaign. Uh, but uh, Spurs have been a very bogey team for me this series, and uh, that is proven yet again as Gareth Bale is able to get an early goal there for Tottenham Hotspur in the seventh minute. Not a great start there, but uh, there's always a team for me which are my bogey team in FIFA career mode. Uh, last year with Everton, in fact, it was Newcastle. Uh, the irony that I'm using them now. Uh, but on this game so far, it has been Spurs or Chelsea, and funnily enough, we're versing Chelsea in the last match of this episode. Uh, we're going to push on now. Kyle Walker's on the ball. He gets the tackle. It's going to go back to Gareth Bale, and Gareth Bale just misses it to the left-hand side of the post. Uh, Lukaku is going to get a header on it, and he hits the crossbar. If that went in for his first goal, that would have been amazing, uh, but unfortunately, it didn't. Mr. Soko, he's going to take a nice left-footed shot, and a great save there from Hugo Lloris, the French keeper. Uh, shoulder Amiobi with some excellent footwork. Uh, a good block there from uh, the Spurs defender. I think it was Vertonghen, but Shoulder Amiobi make, get, uh, gets the ball back. He crosses it in, but Loris punches it away. Uh, we're in the 61st minute now, and Dembele, he, the former Fulham player, is going to be on the ball. Uh, he's going to whip it in, well, I think, yeah, he's going to whip it in to Gareth Bale, but Timmy Krul is going to punch it away. Uh, and a second effort there, and a good save there from Timmy Krul. Uh, Gareth Bale was offside. And right now, Paulinho, he's going to be on the ball here for Spurs in the 71st minute. He's going to take a shot, and it goes to the right-hand side of the post. And that is how the match is going to end. We did, we lose, unfortunately, to Tottenham Hotspur 1-0. Uh, pushing on now, we have received a transfer offer for Paul Dummett, our left back. It is going to be a loan offer from Sheffield Wednesday, and obviously I'm going to accept it. You think Kabai feels a bit threatened. Uh, he said the media put out some speculation about him uh, not being good enough for the job, and obviously... Johan Kabai, you are going to be one of our best players. Of course, you're going to be on the team sheet. There's no way that you're not going to be. Uh, Arsenal now want more money for Rio Miachi, and I decide to bump it up to £1.1 million pounds plus Jonas Gutierrez. Uh, in my opinion, Arsenal are getting a pretty good deal. Uh, but pushing on, we're going to go to our second match of the episode. is an away match against West Ham United. Uh, they were a team that I was really considering doing for this career mode series. Uh, heading into this match, we were sitting in 6th place, I believe it is, was, or 5th. Uh, but Remy right now is going to cross it into Lissade. It's going to go out to Ben Arfa. Ben Arfa on the volley and a great save there from Adrian uh, in the 44th minute. Not many highlights in this match, to be honest. Uh, Ricky Lambert from Southampton, now at West Ham, absolutely makes a meal of that shot as we look at the replay. Like, how did he not even, like, get it on target? It's almost gone out for a bloody throw-in. <laughs> Uh, but we're in the second half now. Lasada's been played through brilliantly. Lasada, uh, sweaty goal opportunity. They capitalise as Luke Remy gets a sweaty goal here in the 61st minute to give us a 1-0 advantage. Uh, and Remy does the Ronaldo calm down celebration. Uh, pushing on Lasada. He's going to uh, pl pass it to Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur plays it through to Lasada. Uh, Lasada with a shot and a brilliant left-footed shot off balance there from Lasada in the 84th minute to give us a 2-0 advantage. And luckily, that is how the match ends. We defeat West Ham United two goals to nil. Uh, the Hammers to give us three valuable points. We have received a loan offer now for Remy Street, our young centre back, I believe he is. Uh, yes, yeah, centre back, 19 years old, 54 overall. So definitely, we're going to send him to Bury on a season loan. Uh, pushing on, we uh, have got the transfer offer accepted for Rio Miachi. Of course, if um, Arsenal didn't accept that, they would have been on drugs. Arsene Wenger would have been 
on some serious marijuana. Uh, but we're going to send Rio Miyachi his contract offer there. Uh, we're getting a transfer offer here. And yet another loan opportunity for a young centre-back, Kevin Mababu, uh, from one of my favourite teams, uh, Sh uh, Shrewsbury. I almost butched up one of my favourite team's names. Uh, but Rio Miyachi is now a... Uh, Newcastle player. Welcome to the club, you young, pacey motherfucker. We're going to push on now into the final match of the episode, and that is a tough away match against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Luke Remy almost gets us off to the perfect start, but a brilliant save there from Salvatore Siriju denies us from going 1-0 ahead. Uh, John Olajon's going to have a dig from long range off balance, and he misses by a mile. Terrible stuff there from Olajon. Uh, Matuidi now is going to play over the top two. Luke Remy and Siriju is just there to defuse the situation. We're going to push forward to the 24th minute. The legend of Lampard almost gets a brilliant free kick there. If that went in, I would have been so mad. Uh, Davide Santon now in the 85th minute. We have fast forwarded a bit. Plays it through to Rio Miachi. I'm going to have to get used to saying that. He's going to cross it into Santon. Santon hits it left foot on the volley and misses by a mile. Uh, and the final opportunity here comes from Ben Arthur. And a great save there from Siriju. So really, if Siriju was keeping that match uh, we probably would have won by a lot uh, but guys it has been Jared HD here with episode number 10 of my Newcastle United FIFA 14 career mode series if you enjoyed please leave a like please subscribe for more FIFA 14 career mode and ultimate team content and most importantly have an awesome day I'll speak to you soon it's been Jared HD here I'm out peace